Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Oh, Kindle Fire. How I love to use you on a daily basis because I get a free Android app of the day courtesy of Android's uh, store. Well, it's not Android store. It's Amazon's Android app store on Amazon.com. You could use it as well. Uh, you can connect to the Amazon app store on your Android device and then get a, a free download of the day, a download that otherwise would uh, cost you money. Uh, you know, ad-free downloads. And I found a, a couple of good uh, uh, games and utilities. Look, this is just in the past, like, couple of weeks uh, that I got all those apps uh, for free. I know they say, oh, Android users don't spend money. I guess you're right. I don't. I get the free app of the day. Why spend money on something that you could get for free if you just wait a little while? And, you know, I, I do like playing. In fact, my, uh, my favorite app, I think, so far for a news app is this one. And I don't even know what the hell it's called. It's got a big C on it, though. I can't tell what it is, but it's nice on, on the Kindle Fire. Uh, they just uploaded the latest firmware uh, for the Kindle Fire, adding a, a bit more comprehensive experience uh, for those of you who uh, have used a traditional Kindle and have wanted to share the content from your Kindle Fire uh, elsewhere uh, and, and made some uh, nips and tucks. As I announced in the uh, private Nomi's group, this was uh, this ebook, uh, Knockout Interview Answers, was available for free the other day. I don't know if it still is. I gave the Nomi's a, a head start on it. Uh, but we just published, uh, you know, the full list of uh, Kindle Fire updates on Locker Gnome, if you missed the list, uh, and also added a few tips and tricks. Uh, so yes, I still have a Kindle Fire. I do plan on getting other Android devices uh, as my budget allows. Uh, you know, a a Amazon continues to improve this. I don't think it will see massive improvement until a hardware revision, and certainly uh, when they update uh, the operating system base uh, from uh, what they were using uh, for the Kindle Fire platform uh, to uh, at least a newer uh, Android flavor. Like, uh, wouldn't it be nice to have ice cream sandwich as a base? Uh, looks like uh, the latest update that is most worthwhile for the Kindle Fire owners update will also bring some of the features customers have requested, including faster reconnect of Wi-Fi after a Kindle Fire has been asleep, and then, of course, general performance uh, enhancements. Uh, you know, we've got... Uh, the reason why we've, we've posted a lot of tips for Kindle Fire owners specifically, not just Android in general, is because uh, this is a very popular Android device. Despite some people saying, it's not Android, it's not real Android. Buy a real Android device. Uh, it runs Android apps. As far as I'm concerned, that makes it a real Android device. Uh, it's a very popular device. Like how many millions have sold? The Kindle Fire sold millions. And in terms of App Store revenues, and, and attention, um, Amazon's number one. They're beating uh, out Google in terms of engagement on Google's uh, own platform. So they're kind of using Google for what they uh, Google allowed them to do with Android and, 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 and doing their own uh, spin or taking their own spin. And I thought it was the right approach. It's one of the reasons why I spent my own money on a Kindle Fire and still do recommend it if you want a good starter experience with a tablet and you want to go Android, because Amazon is providing that experience. A regular amount of updates, a healthy amount of content that you can get with a Prime account, and I love my Prime account. Uh, okay hardware, but then again, you're not paying top dollar to get access to what you might want to get access to. Plus, uh, tons of apps in Amazon's App Store, fully vetted. Uh, and that's one of the reasons why I like uh, the way Amazon's done. Of course, if you want to install your own Android apps, you can do so uh, which by uh, flicking a switch in uh, the settings. And as a matter of fact, let me just show you. For all you geeks out there who didn't think it was possible, because I know some of you guys, you don't, you didn't even buy one, and you're, and you're, you know, claiming you know everything about it. That's funny. I actually have one in my hands, and I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. If I go to device. Uh, I can allow installation of applications. Now, what that will allow me to do is install any app that can run on the Android platform, on the Kindle Fire. Its biggest shortcoming, I would say, is that a lot of the apps that are available just aren't optimized uh, for this particular screen resolution. Uh, that's a shortcoming that is uh, being addressed, uh, you know, over time. Uh, so if you guys have any tips or tricks uh, for an Amazon Kindle Fire, uh, other than to send one to David DeFranco, <laughs> mm. Let me know. Uh, Chris at Perillo.com. We've also got the link in the uh, Locker Room article as we've uh, linked in this video's description.